Good afternoon. Hi. My name is Michael Austin. Can you tell me your full name, please? My name is Saida Abdurazakova. Thank you. And what shall I call you? Saida. 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 And where are you from, Saida? From Uzbekistan. Can I uh, see your identification? Yes, please? sure. Thank you. Thank you, that's fine. Now, in this first part, I'd like to ask you some questions about yourself. Let's talk about where you live. Uh, what do you like most about your hometown or, or city? Well, I live in Tashkent. It's the capital of Uzbekistan. Uh, so, uh, I love my city uh, because it's very beautiful, uh, with beautiful parks, gardens and beautiful underground stations because our underground stations are very popular with uh, its uh, architectural design. So. so is your home city a popular place for tourists to visit? Um, I don't think so, just uh, we try to um, develop our uh, touristic industry uh, and uh, uh, just uh, we have some tourists, not uh, like uh, in uh, America or in England, but we try to encourage it. Has your home city changed much in recent years? Yeah, uh, just uh, over um, last two decades, uh, it, uh, our city changed very much and uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, new modern buildings and uh, restaurants, hotels, so uh, over, over the last years uh, it's really changed. Thank you. Now let's talk about writing. Uh, what different types of writing do you do? For example, letters, emails, reports or essays? Um, I, I prefer uh, to email I prefer to connect uh, by email with my friends, with my family, and uh, sometimes uh, I prefer to write letters by myself because uh, uh, it's uh, very um, actual. I think uh, it's uh, from uh, if you send a letter uh, for by yourself, and uh, it uh, means that uh, you are. Um, uh, you you already um, appreciate this this person. Do you prefer writing with a pen or using a computer? I sometimes it depends uh, on the situation. Uh, for example, for my studies, I prefer a computer to type in computer. Uh, but um, uh, for my essays, uh, I prefer uh, to write by pen. Why? Um, uh, because um, uh, I feel more comfortable when I um, when I try to explain uh, my um, uh, some things uh, which uh, I want to say. It's uh, more comfortable and easy to write it yourself. Do you write more now or less than you did a few years ago? Mm, I think uh, less uh, because uh, uh, technology nowadays are really uh, go fast. <laughs> so. And do you like to write stories or poems? Um, not actually. <laughs> Just uh, I like uh, to write uh, my uh, opinions, uh, my view. For example, about the world, about animals, about uh, persons. Thank you. Let's talk about music. How often do you do you listen to music? Um, um, usually every day. I listen to music uh, because um, it uh, uh, it gives me energy and. Uh, it gives me some uh, 
uh, feeling. Uh, and it's very important for me to listen. Now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say and you can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Okay, so here's some paper and a pen for making notes. And here's your topic. Please don't write anything on the booklet. I'd like you to describe a time when you helped someone. All right. Remember, you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when the time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Yes. Uh, I remember uh, that I helped my grandmother uh, and uh, my mother asked me uh, to go to her home and uh, help uh, for two or three weeks. Uh, so uh, I went there uh, and uh, uh, actually my grandmother was ill. Um, so uh, I, mm, I, I, sh uh, I had to do uh, some cookings for her and uh, some housekeeping works uh, so and uh, in the evenings evening uh, I read the books for her uh, so uh, then after two weeks uh, she uh, she become health healthy and uh, she uh, she forget uh, about that uh, days uh, when she was ill um, uh, so now I proud uh, of it. Uh, I proud that I did it, and my mother also uh, very great uh, that uh, I helped my grandmother. Can you tell me any more about that? Yeah, and uh, mm, uh, the. Uh, she uh, she always says me uh, that uh, I am the uh, best uh, girl in the world, and uh, she says that uh, uh, she uh, uh, she proud of me and she always uh, remember me all her, her uh, life. And uh, thank you. So, do you like helping other people? Uh, yes, I like actually because um, uh, if I help, uh, if I uh, can help someone, uh, I feel uh, very good that I feel the, uh, uh, I can help someone, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel uh, then that uh, I am a cooperative person. Thank you. Can I uh, take the booklet and the pen yeah. and paper, pencil back, please? Thank you. Just thank you. We've been talking about a time when you helped someone, and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. So let's consider, first of all, helping neighbours. Um, can you tell me some of the practical things that people can do to help their neighbours? Mm, yes. Uh, I think uh, people um, always should help their neighbors because they live uh, together in one place. Uh, so, for instance, they can help uh, to carry their things to their homes if they uh, saw them in the streets, mm -hmm. or maybe to um, to to take to look after their children. Mm. So why, why is it important then for neighbours to help each other? Mm, I think uh, it's uh, very important because uh, uh, they, they are like relatives. Mm. Uh, they live in one place and uh, they should uh, be cooperative, they should be tolerant mm. to each other. Okay, you live in a, a big city in, in Tashkent. Yeah. Um, do you think that people in small towns 
help each other more than people in cities? I think so, yes. Why, why, why is that? Um, uh, because uh, uh, in a small town uh, there are uh, n uh, not uh, as much uh, people mm -hmm. than as uh, in the big cities. Um, because and uh, they uh, they need uh, help and uh, they are more closer to each other right. uh, because um, they are few uh, so uh, and uh, comparing with the big cities uh, the uh, uh, people who live in cities they are very busy mm. they just uh, think about yourselves right. Let's uh, go on and think about jobs that involve helping people. Um, can you tell me some of the jobs that, that focus on helping other people? Um, well... Where, where do, what kind of jobs are caring jobs? Um, uh, yes, I think, uh, the first of all, um, so in the hospital, mm. nurses, right. doctors, they help people uh, to to become yeah. healthy again. Well, what sort of qualities does a person need to work in that sort of job? Uh, you mean to become a doctor or to? No, not qualifications, but what kind of person is makes a, a, a good nurse or a a good doctor? Uh, I think uh, he or she uh, should be uh, very kind, tolerant and uh, uh, cooperative. Why, why, why tolerant? Tolerant uh, mm, because uh, people need mm, some um, help mm. and people, all people uh, need the, the same Okay, and the, so people like nurses in that sort of job, do you think that their salaries are too low? Um, maybe uh, if for the nur nurses, uh, nurses, I think not only nurses, also teachers mm. are, uh, get uh, uh, less salaries than uh, other types of fur. They should be paid more. Uh, yeah, I think so. Because uh, they do a very great thing. Uh, they help people to um, to become health and to um, um, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to get their confidence again. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very great job, I think. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Nadia. That is the end of the speaking test.